Okay, we got up here to the campground, and when we opened up the uh, tent camper, the Coleman camper, rats had and mice had infested it so that it smelled so bad we couldn't stand to be around it. So we hauled it away up yonder. We were able to save a few cushions. We headed into town to get a tent for the uh, kids and grandkids and the the guy that ran the campground said, well, I'll keep a few extra tents for just this kind of emergency, and he gave us a tent, so we haven't put it up yet. We figured we'd let them do that. So in the meantime, uh, everybody went off and took a walk. I stayed behind just because I'm old, lazy, and fat, and didn't feel like walking, and I thought I'd play with my camera a little bit. This camera that you're looking at me through is a Sunny HD Handycam. I think it's a pretty good camera, but I didn't like it as good as I liked the Canon, even though the Canon was bigger and heavier, it took a clearer picture. Well, I dropped the Canon, dang, and that messed it all up. So I'm back to using this one. And my other camera, I use a little can Canon for shooting around in the garage and stuff, but it does not have a zoom that works at all. And at least this one does. Let's see if I can zoom something in. Yeah, there's the, what's going to be the fireplace. And since we have stuff to look at, we're camped right on the Penobscot River here. And uh, obviously there's going to be interesting and beautiful things to see as time goes along. So I thought, well, I'll bring a little handy cam out. I bought this from while we was on vacation. Oh, let's see, last year? Year before, I can't remember which. And I just figured, well, I'll, I'll bring it up here and I'll give it a try. So. We're going to give it a try, and uh, we'll see how it goes together. I hope all y'all are having a fine day wherever you are, and that life is being good to you. And uh, I'll see you later. Now that the, uh, I will say this, now that the, the Coleman camper is messed up actually pretty badly. I, it's, I don't even know if, if y'all were able to tell when I, when I went inside it with the camera and look at it while I go, but it's horrible. It's so bad. The smell is so bad that we moved it way off on the other side of the road over there. And we had it opened up so that it would air out and the people in the campsite next door said the smell was so bad they couldn't stand it. So we went back and closed it up to try to keep the smell from being bad. So we've got a couple of things going on there. It got a horrible smell and we've got a lot of torn canvas and screen and cushions and all that stuff. So. We're not sure what we're going to do with it yet. Honey Baby, you know, it's, it's kind of a shame because that was her camper. She invested her money in it and we've gotten a lot of good use out of it. And uh, I don't know if she's going to want it enough to keep it and repair it or not. I think one of those little tents probably almost cost more than it's worth at this point. Um, maybe some of y'all can give me a hint though. What is good... Uh, but it's good to keep mice, rats, and stuff out of something. I, I think I heard somebody say maybe mothballs one time. But, uh, man, if they do that to that, they'd do that to one of my old Volkswagens or to this camper or something else. So it's probably a good remedy. It's probably something that keeps rats and mice out of stuff when it's in storage. And maybe y'all can tell me what it is, because I'm sure somebody out there has had this problem before and already got it figured out. So let me know. Thanks a lot. I always appreciate all the help I get from everybody out there. And uh, after a while, we're going to get the banjos out and pick a little bit. So, y'all have a good day. Talk to you later. Bye now.